High school is sure not what it used to be. That's especially true for students out in Cedar Creek. That's a small community just west of Bastrop. They're getting the week, uh, spent this week rather, getting comfortable in their brand new $65 million high school building. And KXN's Aaron Cargill dropped by today to see what all fuss is about. It's hard to miss from Highway 71. 550 students now call Cedar Creek High School home. We are the beginning, so what we start is what will become of the school. Starting small with just freshmen and sophomores and adding on each year, Bastrop is no longer a one high school district. The traditions we establish, the things we do, the attitude we set is what people look up to after us. Mac computers, laptops, and iPads are at students' disposal and needed for the projects they're assigned. In geography right now, we're, um, we're going to take uh, who we are like, like in somebody in history who we're like, and we're going to compare it and make it into a, a minute a movie. When quarterback Zach Joyner isn't in class, you can find him here. We call it our turf room. Artificial grass with a weight room on the other side. The unusual classroom setup is what sticks out the most. Windows instead of walls make it easy to see what's going on inside. Outside the rooms are more tables where classes can combine and work on lessons together. It does encourage you to work harder and work faster. These are called learning communities and the concept is picking up across the U.S. It's really that whole idea of learning doesn't have boundaries. Right now the entire second floor isn't being used. We've got an electronics lab where we'll eventually have a robotics program. More will be phased in with time and growth. The goal is to make the campus as self-sustaining as possible. Students will be taught how to repair the computers. And next week, a bistro will open, which students will be running in two years. It's a good time while we learn. Instead of dreading, open up your textbook to page 74 and write down vocabulary. In Cedar Creek, Aaron Cargile, KXAN, Austin News.